So in today's video, I'm going to announce something that you lucid dreamers and astral projectors are going to be excited about. And then after that, I'm going to discuss, you know, the future of this channel, where I want to go with it, what my kind of direction is, and I'm going to get some of your thoughts in the comments below. So let's get on to that. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffro. It's me, Matt here. First of all, I want to apologise in advance if you can hear any background noises. Uh, there's a car like moving outside, I don't know if you can hear it at the minute, and I've also got like a fly that is buzzing around my setup and like... ...buzzing around the lights and stuff a lot of the time. So if you hear that, I apologise for that. And anyway, let's get on to the video at hand. So first of all, all of you lucid dreamers, which I know there's a lot of you because the majority of the people who are watching my channel found me through lucid dreaming videos. So you guys are going to be excited to hear about what I want to do next. So I figured that, you know, there's only so much information I can put out in lucid dreaming guides and stuff. And what, what I really wanted to do is actually do something kind of more personal. I wanted to share more of my own experiences with lucid dreaming. I wanted to kind of experience this with you guys. And some of you guys may know a channel called Giz Edwards, and he was one of my favourite lucid dreaming YouTubers, and still is. And on his channel he did something called uh, Learn As I Learn, I think he called it, a lucid dreaming series, where he was basically uh, day by day trying to lucid dream and so on, and documenting it. And basically that gave me an idea for something. For a long time, I wanted to get really big into astral projection. I wanted to kind of get to the level uh, that I am with lucid dreaming, in astral projection, but I haven't done that. I've posted a couple of astral projection guides here on this channel, but I've only had a handful of astral projection experiences in my entire life. Whereas lucid dreaming I've had hundreds and hundreds and I'm very proficient in it, with astral projection it is a struggle for me, and I basically gave up trying to practice it after a certain amount of time. I had, you know, a few experiences, but I just gave up because it was quite hard for me and also as my sleep pattern kind of got out of whack and stuff and I didn't really have a normal regular sleep schedule it was kind of hard to practice it so I kind of gave up on it and I just focused on lucid dreaming and then after a while I didn't even need to focus on lucid dreaming because I started getting lucid dreams every night once I started meditating every night before bed so I kind of wasn't practicing either and I was getting lucid dreams but I was never you know making any progress with astral projection so I was thinking about that and I was thinking about the series that Giz made and I thought what if I actually do something similar, where I basically try from now to get to the stage where I'm able to easily consciously astral project whenever I want to. And I'll start right from the beginning, because I'm starting with someone, as someone with little experience. This isn't, you know, like if I did a lucid dreaming log where I would be starting with all the experience I have and I'd be lucid dreaming every night from the get-go. This is astral projection. This is something that I find genuinely hard. And although I know how to do it and I have done it before, it is something that is not very easy for me. And so this is going to be challenging. This could take months. This could take years. I don't know how long this is going to take me, but this is exciting. I really want to do this. And I think you guys will enjoy it. Those of you who've only come in for lucid dreaming and haven't watched my astral projection videos, Basically, astral projection is a form of out-of-body experience where you can be laying in bed and you can pop out your body and see yourself down below. You hear of these near-death experiences where someone, you know, saw themselves on the operating table and stuff like that. Well, that is like astral projection or an out-of-body experience. Whether or not you're actually leaving your body or it's something internal, much like a lucid dream, no one really knows for sure. But that's one thing that I want to explore for myself. I want to experience it enough that I can say for sure, you know, what this is to me, what I believe this is. So I want to, you know, explore that further, and what I'm starting to do, starting from last night, I'm going to be practicing every single night, unless, you know, I have some reason that I can't practice, you know, I have to be up early or I have to do something, whatever, then I'm going to be practicing every night astral projection, or trying to anyway. Now, astral projection isn't like lucid dreaming. It isn't that, you know, you practice it every night and you get astral projection every night, unless you're, you know, advanced in it and know how to do it. If you're new to it, like someone like me who's only done it a few times, then it is very, very hard to do. And so it might be that I go weeks or even months without actually achieving it. That said, because I'm already a lucid dreamer, and lucid dreaming is quite similar to astral projection in that you can come about in the same times, you know, when you're in REM, when you're in sleep paralysis and so on, then the chances are I'm going to have a lot of interesting lucid dreams to talk about uh, that happen to me during that time while I'm trying to get astral projection to work. So it doesn't matter that it takes a long time, I'm patient, I'm willing to, you know, take however long it takes to actually learn this skill, because in the meantime I'm going to be having lots of awesome lucid dreams. In fact, I started last night already, and I'm not going to go into detail right now about the first, you know, the first bit of my astral log, as I'm calling it, 
but I will make a video about that and a video about my progress from then on. But basically last night I was the first night that I tried and I told myself I was gonna, you know, go to sleep and then when I wake up, whenever I wake up, because I normally tend to wake up in REM anyway, it's just become a habit of mine, I like wake up in the middle of a dream. So I said whenever I wake up, I'm gonna try and lay, lay down still until I get into sleep paralysis and then perform the rope technique. Um, if you don't know what the rope technique is, I do have videos on how to astral protect, check those out. Anyway, the rope technique basically involves you imagining climbing a rope out of your body when you're in sleep paralysis. So I was waiting to go into sleep paralysis, but I kind of have a bit of an issue with restless legs. I, I was kind of just kicking and tossing and turning and stuff, and I couldn't sit still. So I thought, great, I can't really do that. I need to go about it the other way. Now, if you know, I have two videos on how to astral project. And in the second video, I talk about how I struggle to get into sleep paralysis because I struggle to stay still and so on. And so the way that I get into sleep paralysis that I found is easier is going via a lucid dream. See, what I do is I get into a lucid dream, which for me is relatively easy. And then from there, I close my eyes and tell myself I will wake up in sleep paralysis. So I did that last night and I did wake up in sleep paralysis. I did start performing the rope technique. I got the vibrations and everything, which is really exciting. I wasn't expecting to get that far on my first you know, night back attempting it. Because that took me months before when the, f the first time I attempted it. Um, so I got the vibrations, but then I found myself coming back into the lucid dream again. In, in total, over the period of the night, I went back into a lucid dream five times. I ended up having five lucid dreams, uh, which is kind of annoying because I was kind of trying to get back into sleep paralysis, but every time I performed the rope technique, I would end up back in my lucid dream rather than actually getting out of my body. I had some more success when I was, you know, doing this spinning uh, method where I was imagining myself spinning. Uh, I haven't actually made a video about that, but that kind of works well for me. Um, but then I ended up once again, the final fifth time in a lucid dream. So I didn't have any success with it yet last night, but I did have five lucid dreams in one night, which is always awesome. Um, and so it's going to be an interesting log, even if it takes me, you know, two years to have, you know, uh, actual success with this, I'm going to have a ton of lucid dreams over the way and I'm going to make videos about them, kind of vlog style videos, you know, about the experiences, about the coolest lucid dreams I had and about, you know, my success and what I've learned along the way, because I want to help you guys uh, learn how to astral project and I want to help you guys learn how to lucid dream more frequently and all of that. And I know lots of you guys are into that content, so I know you'll like that. So anyway, that's kind of some exciting news for you guys. Also, I want to discuss the future of my channel. Now, a lot of you guys know that most of my subscribers come from my lucid dreaming videos. But what a lot of you don't know is that wasn't the intention of my channel. When I set up this channel, I wanted it to be self-development, self-improvement, and lucid dreaming was just one of, you know, hundreds of different subjects I wanted to cover on the channel. And it just so happened that my lucid dreaming video was my first video, and that video took off and now has over 750,000 views. So lots of you have found me from that video and kind of assumed that I'm a lucid dreaming channel and that's, you know, all I make. And as a result, there are a lot of people who watch my videos, but they will only watch my lucid dreaming videos, which doesn't sound like a problem, but it kind of is because of the way that YouTube goes about, you know, ranking things. You see, YouTube pays attention to how many of your subscribers watch a particular video, and that affects how its ability to rank in search and in suggested videos and in browse features. So for example, if I put out a lucid dreaming video now and, uh, and it gets, you know, say 5% of my subscriber base within the first two days watch it. So like 400 subscribers currently with you know, like 8,000 subscriber counts. So if like 400 of you watch it within the first two days, that will positively affect its ranking. That will tell YouTube that this is a video to recommend to others. And that will increase the amount of people that can see it elsewhere that aren't already my subscribers. And another one is if you get 50% of your subscribers to watch it within a month. So if I got 4,000 people to watch it within a month, which is definitely doable with my Lucid Dreaming videos, then YouTube will promote it even more. Now, the problem happens when I post a video that's not Lucid Dreaming related. I post, you know, a video about how to be more productive, for example, and I'll post that and only like 200, 300 people, sometimes even just 100 people will watch it. And the problem with that is that's not even 5% of my subscriber count. And because I have this big subscriber count, but not many of them watch these videos, that means YouTube sees, oh, this video isn't good. I'm not going to recommend it. It's not going to rank in search. It's not going to be suggested or anything. So in a way, I'm kind of locked into making lucid dreaming content and I can't really post these other videos because when I do, they don't rank. So I can't get anyone to see them. So I've been considering lately a change of strategy and that change of strategy would mean splitting up my channel. I would basically move all of the self-development, self-improvement stuff onto a second channel. So those of you interested in self-improvement and so on would be able to go to the second channel, check all of that out, and you know there would be regular videos there. There would also be regular videos on my main channel, which would be focused more on lucid dreaming and astral projection. Now I don't know the exact way that I would split this up because, for example, you know, I've also started posting hypnosis tracks, so there was one 
theory I had where I would have three channels. I would have a kind of spiritual self-development channel, which is focused on lucid dreaming and astral projection, but occasionally has some other things like third eye, the chakras and meditation and so on, which would be this channel, the one that you're currently on. Then I'll have the regular self-development, you know, how to be more productive, how to earn more money, that kind of thing which would be the second channel. And finally, I would have a third channel, which was just guided meditations and hypnosis tracks, just all of that. So the reason for this being that, like I explained earlier, YouTube cares about how many of your subscribers watch a certain video. So for example, you know, with a channel with 8,000 subscribers, if I want a video to perform well, it needs to get like 400 views in the first two days, which when you guys aren't interested in certain videos means that doesn't happen. And so if I had three separate channels, say, you know, my third channel, say I had this hypnosis channel, and that only had, you know, 40 subscribers, only 40 of you decided you wanted that. Well, then I only need 5% of 40 to actually watch it. So I only need two views. I only need two views in the first two days for that video to actually take off and be recommended. So that video could actually do well, perform well in search and stuff, even though it has less subscribers, just because it only needs a small fraction of them to actually watch the video. And those are people who actually want to watch the video. So you see where the problem is. Basically, if you make videos that your subscribers aren't interested in, YouTube will not promote them. And so that's why I'm considering that. But I wanna get your thoughts, because the thing is, I don't know how much of an issue this is. I don't know how many of you simply don't wanna watch my other videos, or how many of you simply don't know about my other videos. Because another thing about YouTube is that recently, YouTube has kind of been messing with the subscription feed. And so a lot of the time, people don't get recommended new videos from the people they're subscribed to unless that new video is related to something else they're already watching. So for those of you who've been watching lots of lucid dreaming videos, you might see my new lucid dreaming videos pop up on your homepage, but you might not see my other videos about how to be more productive or uh, how to meditate or stuff like that because you haven't been watching those kind of videos. So for those of you, uh, I would like you guys, what you should do is you should go down by the subscription bit um, the bit where it says that you're subscribed and there should be a bell icon there and if you click on that you can click to notify you whenever the new videos are coming out because that way you'll be notified of all my videos so you won't just get ones based on what you've already watched so if there is something else that you are perhaps interested in but you don't know that I've posted it up you'll actually see and get a notification so if you haven't done that you should do that now but anyway I want to hear your thoughts so I want you guys to let me know I'm gonna put a straw poll uh, there is an option to put polls in videos on YouTube, but I'm honestly not sure how to use it. I've never used it before, so I'm just going to use this site called Straw Poll, and I'm going to put a link in the uh, video comments and the description to this poll. And in this poll, you're going to be asked uh, what kind of viewer you are. Are you someone that only watches my lucid dreaming videos, only cares about my lucid dreaming videos, and doesn't want to watch anything else on my channel? You know, lucid dreaming, astral projection, that kind of thing, basically. Um, are you someone that is only interested in self-improvement videos, you're not interested in lucid dreaming and so on? Uh, are you someone that is interested in all of the content on my channel when you watch all of my videos? Um, or is it something else? And basically, I want to know what kind of subscriber you are. Um, and also, another option that I'll put on there is, are you someone that basically has been watching my Lucid Dreaming videos, but simply hasn't been notified about my other videos, so you didn't know there were other ones? Um, I'm going to put a few options like that on the straw poll. You'll see on the straw poll what options there are. It might be slightly different because I'm actually recording this before making the poll. But anyway, I want to get your feedback. I want to know what you are. Like, uh, are you someone that watches all my videos or are you someone that just watches the lucid dreaming ones? Because, you know, if, if it turns out that, you know, all of you guys uh, replying are actually ones that watch all of my videos, then obviously it's a problem with uh, people finding those videos. You're not getting notified about them. Whereas if a lot of you guys just want the lucid dreaming content and you don't want the other videos, then it makes sense for me to move those videos off to another channel so that, you know, you don't see those. You just uh, get the focus of lucid dreaming content. And, you know, final disclaimer, if I do go down the route of splitting up the channel into two or three channels, I will be still making regular content on all of them. You'll be getting as many videos as you were before. Um, basically, you know, obviously before, say I was doing like two or three videos a week on this channel, I won't necessarily be doing two or three on one channel, but I will, you know, split up the videos. But I will still be making the same frequency of videos on different subjects. And in fact, if anything, I will be making slightly more videos on certain subjects. Like I'll be making slightly more videos on lucid dreaming if I do this, because it would be a channel focused around mostly lucid dreaming. So at that point, you know, I would have at least a video coming out every week about lucid dreaming. And, you know, those of you who are interested in all of the videos that I put out, you could subscribe to all of the channels and, you know, get notified about all of that. So, yeah. Uh, first, I want to get your thoughts. I want to hear what you are here for on this channel, what videos that you want. 
and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna discuss it with other YouTubers and so on and find out if I am completely right because if I am correct about the algorithm and how it works and that, you know, you need a certain percentage of your subscribers to watch these videos, then it simply makes sense that I would move that other content off the channel. But anyway, I'll see, I'll think about all that, I'll think about what you guys say and I will decide sometime soon and I'll let you guys know. So look forward to that astral projection log thing that's coming along. That's gonna be quite exciting. I really look forward to making those videos. Anyway, stay tuned guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. And if you haven't subscribed already, remember to subscribe over there. Leave a like down below if you like the video and leave a comment down below what kind of you know, watcher you are, what kind of subscriber you are and you know, answer in the poll. And if you wanna keep watching, check out the video that's linked on screen. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.